portfolio. Question number 10, Honey Harawira. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Greetings to us in the House. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr. Speaker, uh, no, I do not agree with that assertion. While the Māori and Pacifica uh, unemployment rate is higher than we would like because of the challenges of the GFC, our employment, education, schools and training policies are working hard to support a growing economy and prov provide more training and skills opportunities for all New Zealanders, including and in particular Māori and Pacifica. Uh, a few examples for the member, the 8,500 fees-free tertiary places for youth guarantee and the 3,000, nearly, three, nearly 3,700 Trades Academy places, which are particularly popular with young Māori, uh, the 300 places for the new Pacifica Trades Initiative uh, to improve uh, Pacifica achievement in trades, the uh, Hitoki uh, Kiti Riki, uh, $1 million for Māori That's trades enough. training, and also, the, well, I think it's important to get it out for the member because he's obviously not aware of it, also fees-free second chance foundation training and the new New Zealand Apprenticeships Programme. Supplementary question, Honey Harabura. Uh, does the Minister agree that even more appalling than the unemployment rates is the fact that only half of all Māori and Pacific Island people living in New Zealand actually have jobs? And does that mean that National's promise of a brighter future and an inclusive economy with jobs for all does not actually include Māori and Pacific Island people? Honourable Stephen Jones. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, I don't agree with that assertion, uh, but I think the member raises a good point, and that is that we should all look to encourage opportunities for investment in the different parts of the country uh, where it would be helpful for all New Zealanders. And if you take the member's own area of Northland, uh, there's lots of initiatives going on there, for example, in the minerals and resources space, uh, which I know the member opposes, but actually Northland has one of the worst unemployment rates in the country. And it's not enough to sit there and say, we want jobs, and then not actually support the measures and initiatives within your own region that encourage jobs. And I would encourage the member to change his view on that, because I don't like the idea of trade fairs in Kaikoui to get young Northlanders to work in the Western Australian resource sector. I'd prefer they were working in Northland. <laughs> Supplementary question, Honey Harawera. Uh, listening to the... Minister blamed the global financial crisis. Does, yes, you did. Does the minister agree? Order. Order, order boys, order, boys. Order. Does the minister agree that the global financial crisis has nothing whatsoever to do with the racial mix of the unemployment statistics here and that those truly appalling statistics are in fact the result of his government's total lack of commitment to reducing... Māori and Pacific Island unemployment rates, and what does that lack of commitment say to his mana-enhancing partners in the Māori Party and the silently suffering Pacific Island MPs in his own party? Honourable Stephen Joyce. No, Mr Speaker, I completely reject everything the member said in that question, of which there was a lot. This government has been a passionate supporter of training and education opportunities for Māori and Pacifica. We have a higher proportion of success in a tertiary education for Māori than there has ever been. We have a higher proportion for Pacifica than there has ever been. It is not high enough, but by goodness, we started from a low base that we inherited, and we're working a heck of a lot harder than that member is. Question number 11, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education and asks, does she stand by all of her decisions?